Okay, let's look at our last problem here. So, my doctor told me to stay on a strict caloric diet, so maybe I needed to lose a little bit of weight. So, they're putting me on 1,900 kilocalories. But I also have high cholesterol, or at least this lady does. And a doctor, because of maybe research that suggests uh, high fat diets may contribute to high cholesterol, she wants to limit the intake of your fat. And in particular, we want to limit that intake to 10% of the total number of calories. But let's say my parents came to visit me or her parents came and they took them to the Amana colonies where they have lots of lovely fatty bacon. And so when they went out, she ate 12 of them. So the question is here, we want to do a couple bits of math. So one is with our 1,900 kilocalories, we want to figure out 10% of that. So that is, as we saw before in our other math, we'll want to take 1,900 kilocalories and multiply that by 0 0.10 and this should be approximately 190 kilocalories. So remember what this is telling us is 10% of all these calories is going to be 190 and so I only want 190 calories coming from my fats. So the real question is how many grams of fat is that? Because as you can see what I have here is I have information on what one slice of bacon will have. Now granted it does tell me energy so I could do calculations that way but it also right here if we look at total lipids it tells me per slice there's 3.18 grams. So I want to get this 190 converted to grams so then I can do some fairly simple math. And the easiest way to do that is 190 kilocalories. That's the number. Now remember, fats are a little bit different here in that there's approximately 9 kilocalories per gram. So I'm not going to use 4, I'm going to use 9. Cross these out. And what we'll see is approximately or I should have approximately 21 grams of fat. So now the question is, eating 12 pieces of bacon that I mess up. And that's where this number is going to come into play. So each one is worth 3.18. I can just round it to 3 for really simple math. So I'm going to take 12 slices and I'm going to do 3 grams per slice here. Cross, cross out. And so what we're going to see here is approximately 12 slices of bacon will give me 36 grams. Now if you remember, right there I need 21 grams. So my 31 grams far exceeded that. So now I gotta go up here. Did I mess up for the day? Absolutely. Doesn't mean I'm going to die, but the point is I did mess up on that particular day and really uh, for the rest of the day I should not have any more fats. And that's probably not that easy, but that would ultimately want to be my goal.